Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. This is Eve Elements LLC. Welcome everybody to my channel. This is just a general collective reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below. Or you can simply click on the Facebook icon located in the upper right hand corner of the channel. If you have someone in the comments section or anywhere on any of my social media platforms reaching out to you saying that they're me, they're not me because I would never reach out to you. I wouldn't need to. Okay. My clients come to me. I don't go to them. All right. Stay away from those um, fake ass babalawas that be in the comment sections too. On any social media platform. Those are scammers. And energy vampires. A lot of people say they're bots. But I don't I don't give a crap. If you're a spider on the wall. God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't care if you're a spider on the wall. Okay. That's it. Those people. Clock, uh, clock watching you. Pocket watching you. Looking to take from you. All right. So y'all be out y'all be out here and be careful, those that are out here on these social media platforms because they're scammers that's on the platforms using these platforms. Some of these people work behind the scene on these platforms, meaning they work at these platforms. They can be engineers, they can be computer analysts, accountants for the platforms, whoever, whatever. Okay, for others of you, they're from other countries. Uh, just be mindful. Keep in mind also, like I said, take a fit, leave the rest. Roles can be flipped, switched, reversed. Okay, in your situation. Holy Spirit, what's the underlying message for the collector? What's going on in the collector? Oh, seriously? First card out is Envy. Who you got that's mad jealous about you? We got caught up. Caught up. Mm -hmm. Someone got caught cheating, basically. What else we got? Mm. Mm This could have happened in the past. Fulfilling a fantasy came out reversed. The court of cheating, which is also reversed. And then we have envy. So in the past, you had a lot going on. Um, collective. Nightmare. Reversed. Okay. Someone literally could be having nightmares over how they treated somebody here. How they cheated on someone too. Mm -hmm. Falling apart reversed. Like I said, someone's very envious. Someone's jealous. Whoever cheated on someone, that person that they cheated on, that person with that person's jealous. Basically, the third party is jealous. Or excuse me, envious, right? Or it could be you. That's envious of the person that your person cheated on you with. Or your person or you could have cheated on the, the other one, the other party in the relationship. And that third party could literally be envious of you four or four in the closet. Someone's envious. Fulfilling a fantasy caught up in envy. Yeah. For some, I feel strongly it's the third party that's envious of you like they wanted to sleep with your mate your partner for the sake of i don't know hurting you in some way shape or form you you're strictly unbothered i heard or completely unbothered by this and it gives this person nightmares or this person is just a plain old freaky deaky nightmare what's the underlying energy yeah Someone's going to be shocked to find out that they were messing with someone on the job here. This person does not care. That's why their world is not falling apart. 
This person don't care because this person is probably on drugs 24-7. Side chick or dude who works at someone's spouse's place of business here. This person sells sex on the side here. I heard candy shop by 50 cent. And this person's a hater. And they a fake friend. So this is someone that's in your ex's friend circle here. Or the person you currently with. They're in their friend circle. Like literally they're in the friend circle. <laughs> but they're a fake friend. This is someone that befriends someone to get close to them only to get into them drawers. That's considered being a fake friend. So this is someone that would love to have like a friends with benefits type of energy with your person or you. Take what resonates through the rest. But well, whoever this is, is a plotter, a planner, okay? They're also a hater. Maybe you're someone with pure energy. You don't have to sell sex on the side because you're not making enough money at your job here. Or what you deem considerable not enough money at your job. This would be someone like this side chick or dude. With a drama, this is someone that lives in drama. This could be an air sign. This is someone that could live in freaking drama every day. They like to see people argue or go at it one another like cats and dogs and stuff like that. This person here. Give me a second. This is the person that your person, I heard, having sex on the job in the bathroom stall or in the basement. Somewhere where they can get a real a real good quickie. I just literally pictured someone wearing a short skirt to work or something. And it's easy access to their booty hole or something like that. From behind. Like literally. This is how trite that person is. Someone else. It could be you or someone else that's in this work group because if you look at it there's a group of people sitting around the table here and then there's this one sitting at the table too but someone at the table is going to be shocked to find out that your person was messing with this person mm -hmm. what are they going to be finding out like I said this person here is the type of person they don't care because they hating on you for the simple fact you don't do what they do you have morals. You have ethics. They don't. Okay. I heard this person for the streets. Again, they befriended your spouse, your lover, your partner, whoever. They befriended them so they can have that person have sex with them. This is what they do on a daily basis here. And they're very envious. They carry the energy of envy and jealousy. I heard you can't bring sand to the beach. That's this type of person. This person is salty 24-7. They jealous of any and everybody that they come in contact with because they're not happy with their life and they're not satisfied with themselves. So what do they do? They break up relationships or they cause havoc or wreak havoc in people's lives. People that they don't even know from a can of paint, but they feel like they have the need to wreak havoc or chaos in someone's life. Because they're envious and jealous. Like literally, this is the type of person that be like, I should be with that person. That should be me. I don't understand. What's, what makes that person so special? When you, have an, when you have an energy that questions like that, what makes that person so special? That's the person you want to stay away from. Don't even make that person your friend. Out of sight, out of mind. Because usually those are dark empaths that do that. Dark witches. Sometimes they ain't got a burning candle. It's a thought pattern, a thought form with them. They can send out thought forms. And they can disrupt your whole life. So make sure you're cleaning your energy too. Even if this is past, present, or what have you. Clean energy. 
if you already cleaned your energy, clean it again. And continuously stay on the path of keeping your energy cleared out. This is ridiculous. What is this envy and caught up? What is this envy and caught up for the collective? That has way too many stops. May I please get one? No more than two. What is this envy and caught up? Yeah, someone and fulfilling the fantasy is reversed. So someone could have found a condom in the car. Is what I heard, or a condom under their bed. Someone could have had someone, someone could have literally brought their mistress or their third party into their home and had sex on the bed where them and their spouse sleep. Like, literally, we got the Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords. See all that red? See all that red? a lot of hate Ooh, yeah. there's a lot of arguments over here considerably someone who cheated you gonna argue that's a given everybody argues with who they in connection with that cheated they could be arguing about having someone sleep on a bed with their partner like literally someone's fulfilling the fantasy in their house in the past they could have literally took someone into your house collective and had that person in the basement and was screwing that person in your basement or your house while you out at work, out anywhere. You could be out, you could have been at the mall shopping. Guess what? Ain't nothing but a quickie. Let's go to the basement real quick. Let's go to the shack behind the house. You know how you have those houses and they have those um those toolbox. Uh, shafts, sheds. They could even literally be reckless to have sex with someone in a tool shed behind the house and have that person, if you have an opening in your backyard, creep out through the backyard to the other side of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. Like, people, people, reckless. And so this person's caught up, yo, for real. Caught up, caught cheating. Because they had reckless behavior. Someone was literally driving to someone's house. You know, um, let me see. This car may have two colors, black and white. It may be white on the outside with the black outline or something like that. Definitely someone's driving to somebody's house. Someone's communicating with someone and driving to somebody's house. Like, yo, want to have a quickie? They're like, yeah, let's go have a quickie. And then someone put the key in the door and lo and behold, like, got caught having sex on the bed with the third party. Others of you, someone could have literally got caught at a motel, hotel room, lobby. Some of y'all could be the lobby. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, reckless sex. And someone didn't care. They was too busy being reckless, and that's how they got caught up. That's how they got caught up. Bringing sand to the beach. Someone's wop is dry. The third party got a dry wop. The person's probably palm colored with black hair. Temperance, yeah, Sagittarius reversed. Someone's off balance here. Hmm. Someone definitely is off balance here, but there's also a chemical imbalance within this uh, person.
What is this fulfilling the fantasy reverse with nightmare? What is this? Could have been a lot of heavy drinking involved. Could have even been drugs involved. Doesn't have to be. But definitely drinking is. With this temperance reverse here. Because someone drinks too much, it, they create. They created. They literally created their own chemical imbalance in their brain. Someone could literally have a white liver and don't even know it. What is fulfilling the fantasy? Reverse to nightmare. What is going on here? Someone feels bound, trapped, stuck. They could be in a physical jail, spiritual jail. Eight of Swords. Someone literally likes to have sex that way. Be being bound and gagged. Someone's definitely in their head about this person that they was um, cheating on you with collective here. They stuck in their head about this. But can't, it's like they can't see their way out of a uh, circumstance or a situation here. What is Eight of Swords? Fulfilling the fantasy reverse and nightmare. Yeah, they feel stuck with this person. This person is a freaking nightmare to them. I heard all they do is argue. Oh, they could be arguing about you, but. Oh, okay, give me a second. Nine of Swords reverse. Someone's trying to figure out how to get up out this situation here with this individual that they feel trapped with. Okay. The person they with ain't falling apart for nothing. They just know that they got this person. They're not even torn up over anything. I feel like this person could be on heavy drugs. They do drugs like right before they go to work. They probably do drugs at work. They probably do drugs after work. It could be a group of them that do it. Doesn't have to be. Someone's with this person because of their friends. They want to show off to their friends. But they're really dealing with a freaking nightmare here. This side piece that they met at work through friends. Is a freaking nightmare. That's why you don't let friends hook you up. <laughs> They're even shocked that this third party that they with, that they hooked up with at work, is a freaking hater. They hating on you. As far as I'm concerned, they all fake. And they're running a sex trafficking ring. Not through the job that they work at. But it's like an after hours type of energy thing going on here. What I'm going to look at this. Work relationship and side chick or dude. Clarify this work relationship, side chick or dude. Sex shop and fake friends. Work relationship, side chick or dude. Sex shop, fake friends. What is this, Holy Spirit? What is this? relationship side chick or do drama there could be drama at work with these people concerning this individual here due to some sort of sex shop sex trafficking I keep getting due to some sort of sex trafficking amongst these fake friends here what is this going on with all these people they're worried and they're burdened and they're stressed out some of them could be going through a lot of pain and suffering. Could have caught an STD. That's why they're going through pain and suffering here. Three, hold on now. Three of Swords upright. They don't want to be separated from each other. Because like I said, they have a sex trafficking ring going on here. And they all could have went against you and your person's relationship here to break y'all two up to hook them up with this person that's involved with all of them in this sex trafficking bullshit 
And this person was probably talking mad shit about you, don't even know you. As far as I'm concerned, all of these crackheads or cokeheads was talking shit about you, collective. Right along with the ringleader, this dumbass bitch who worked at this person's job. Like I said, you never get people to hook you up. You be literally linking up the low vibrational energies. People that do this dirtiness. Now they all bothered and worried. Oh my God. We're going to break up, blah, blah, blah. You're going to break up either way because if the feds catch your ass. And I'm hearing some of them are immigrants with no fucking papers. Literally. They're linked together through some sort of financial opportunity here. There was money distributed among a group of people here that's involved in a sex trafficking ring or sex shop. It could be like, let's say this group of people is six people, three guys, three girls, right? Out of the guys, it's like one or two of them is pimping the others, men and women, out for cash flow here. See the Ace of Pentacles here, that opportunity. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Love and sex. Sex, shine ain't no love here. Sex. Financial status. That's coming to an end. Yeah, because I heard they were all in it together. They went against you because you're someone who had high standards. You had morals. You would never... You love yourself too much. Obviously, and apparently, these people do not love themselves. Okay? Someone could be worried about losing a job here. Getting fired. Losing money. Definitely, there's an ending or breakup of this financial opportunity that they were in it for. Okay? Because there's a lot to do with money and less to do about morals. It's like... They'll do anything for cash. Channeling anything for clout by Offset and Cardi B. Do anything for clout. They'll do anything for clout. Straight to a penthouse Miami Beach. Your niggas all sweet. New weirdo every week weirdos. These are all weirdos. These niggas are sweet. They screw other guys, they screw girls, they screw guys, they screw each other. And they mad because it's about to be over. Let me get one more, and then I'm out. Queen of Cups. These people are all emotional. Because they're going to be soon running out of financial opportunities and ways of making money through sex. Oh, there's going to be a huge dry-ass drought. <laughs> they do row reversals, orgies. They do all that kind of. For them, it's a good good. And they all work at the same place of business. I can see if these are like friends that were spread it out. One's a cop, one's a doctor, one's a, one's a nurse, one's an artiste, one's a singer, something like No, these are like factory workers, restaurant workers, administrative workers. Like they all work in the same fucking field, the same, not only the same field, but like the same job. Work relationship. That's what that word say up there. Let me see. Work relationship. It won't come into view, but whatever. Work relationship. Let me show you something. You see it now? Work relationship. Sex trafficking ring. And yet you have them hating on you. But someone here that was dealing with someone. Okay. 
whoever you were dealing with, they were dealing with someone that's involved in this sex trafficking ring. This third party was involved in the sex trafficking ring. And this third party is hella envious of you. Why is the third party envious of the collective? Clarify envy real quick so I can get out of here. Because they had no control over their DRP. Emperor Reverse. Emperor Reverse. Envious. They have lack of control. They're not connected to source. This person is unwise. They're not very wise. This person does not make wise decisions. They always get caught up cheating. Okay, for some of you, this is the person that's supposed to be with you. Like your spouse, your significant other. This is literally them envious of you. So they go out and cheat on you behind your back. But then they get caught up with cheating. They always get caught by you with cheating. Because you're someone that's very intuitive. You're psychic. For some of you out there. This person can't control their emotions. Right? Again, they're not connected to source whatsoever. This person may even feel dead inside for doing the things that they do. Look at that volcano in the background ready to erupt. Mm -mm -mm. Now this person forced to go into Herman mode and seek inner guidance, peace, and wisdom. Okay? Because whatever they do in Seven of Swords Reverse, yes, this is my confession. Chick on the side says she got one on the way. This is my confession. Girl, I'm grown and I don't know what to do. You know what to do. You let your little inch eye, private eye, small ass penis lead you down the wrong path because you thought you was feeling high and mighty because your fake ass friends had you gassed the fuck up. <laughs> now you waking the fuck up because you in hermit mode now. Look at you. All right, collective. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Click on that thumbs button. Hit that like button for your girl, Eve Elements, LLC. Also, make sure you join the channel, become a member. With that being said, be blessed. Peace out.